Hi, this is IK. Welcome to Components Trees. And when the components have been rendered, this uh, web, uh, this React application, there is uh, six items that we said like that. Six documents what we must uh, uh, coding. This application, there is a home and there is a single post home and single post here it is uh, here hierarchy trees of components is uh, app.js red is root components always it is a root uh, components it is uh, root of the components trees of trees of components app.js on uh, app.js is a root and uh, uh, we have uh, uh, two combination always stay left blog post menu left dot js component blog post uh, plural menu left plural is uh, or singular it's very important for uh, uh, for naming in uh, coding because uh, here in blog posts plural menu left we have uh, all posts but only title of all posts and uh, same is uh, right blog post menu a blue uh, frame a blog post menu is uh, also i call it also menu because uh, it have title it have image every post but there is a text only 115 character places and uh, here is uh, all post with the title uh, image and uh, 150 character places a left is only blog post uh, menu left is only title and it is link it is some navigation but we can uh, navigate with the blog uh, post uh, menu also uh, when we go over uh, over uh, title here it is it is link single post home po home it is uh, this uh, blog post menu and now it is single post uh, uh, here it is and uh, we must uh, decide it of uh, a hierarchy of components app.js is always a root components uh, but uh, second level is a blog post here it is a blog post menu.js or blog post.js two component uh, have same places blog post menu dot js and the blog post uh, post uh, singular post uh, one or other when we click on home when we click on uh, home we have a blog post menu it is right when we click on a single post on one title we have a blog post singular post blog post only one post only one post and it is permanent address of every post we have we can call that home page and we have uh, only single post A left side when you look at in left side blog post menu left is uh, constantly left in have constantly position 
for uh, link home and for uh, single post. Always left is uh, blog post sub menu left. Uh, it is the same level, uh, hierarchical, hierarchical level. We have uh, two level up root component and the second level is uh, blog post menu left and blog post menu or blog post two level here it is uh, visible two level uh, what is start point in uh, uh, in uh, thinking and creating uh, react application layout hierarchy what is a start point start point is always in the web application and uh, this is a single page application and this is a react application always we start from data uh, here is a blog post uh, dash data.js always start for data about data depends uh, all uh, up level of uh, design layout design uh, and our deciding what uh, hierarchy of uh, components and because of that look at uh, data blog post data is JSON in JSON format? It is object blog post inside of blog post data dot js. Uh, it is we create we declare object constant blog post equal curl uh, square bracket, and inside that is uh, object in curly brackets. We have uh, one two three four four posts every post is object and in that uh, object we have uh, members we have uh, properties uh, id column one heading column what is web image is address of image address of uh, image it is text a blog post is uh, array and uh, in that, that array of uh, paragraph, there is a three paragraph. And again, ID, heading, image, blog post. And uh, ID, heading, image, blog post. And the fourth is ID, heading, image, blog post. It is uh, posts. And uh, I decided to display have a design for my post you look at heading image and blog post heading imaging blog post i decided that this uh, uh, this design uh, title image and uh, content uh, look at here title title image and uh, content in content we have three paragraph uh, and we have index.js for uh, routers for uh, routers and uh, when uh, we call uh, react application when we write address uh, web address of uh, react application it is all the same as uh, any web application it is single web application it is hypertext transfer protocol and uh, we write uh, address of that uh, when that address uh, contact uh, know the JS server were laying our React application. Uh, first, 
what go to back to client is uh, index.html index.html here it is it is uh, public public here it is index dot uh, uh, html uh, as in any other web application it is index.html in public uh, in public folder and uh, parallel with it or uh, after it coming but m first must be finished process of uh, 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 document uh, do, document object model index.html coming on client and in memory of client create document object model we can see that document object model Uh, view page source here it is here it is here it is document object model of uh, index.html uh, and all the time uh, running and interaction with our application always will be uh, that uh, document object uh, model of uh, only single page index.html and because of that we call this kind of application single web application when uh, finished that process uh, of document object model of index.html uh, javascript complete with all needed resources a loading from server to client and uh, render it all component would be rendered but will not display will not display all all components uh, there is a uh, three document object model in react application in every react application first document object model is index.html what i described moment just uh, just a moment ago and uh, second is a virtual document object model and javascript rendering all components and create uh, for all of them a virtual document object model virtual and uh, that uh, virtual object model always exists uh, we cannot see that uh, anywhere and uh, that virtual object model create actual actually uh, object model actually object model is that what we see on the screen it is a document object model of uh, of uh, that what we see on the screen it is actually document object it is for display what is displayed on the screen uh, after that go our interaction and every interaction uh, and uh, after every interaction virtual document object uh, 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 follow every our interaction and uh, after we finished our interaction uh, virtual document object uh, would be compared with actually document object with actually what on the screen and uh, if there is a difference uh, would be uh, would be mutate would be uh, mutate on immutable kind immutable way of mutating but would be changed only that component where was a difference between actually and uh, uh, and virtual document object model 
only change is minimal minimal uh, location minimal component uh, it, it is always uh, it is often one of the components uh, what was uh, uh, changed and uh, all components are uh, rendered after loading in client and uh, when we decide, when we coding, what would we see after opening? What was what would be seen on the screen uh, at first? Here in index.js, uh, in index.js, uh, here it is. We uh, we need uh, routers. Uh, because uh, routers manage all components, location of, of all components when they would be, they need be display. And uh, it is not like uh, pages in uh, a web page, web uh, application, other web application with PHP, etc or HTML only, uh, where we have pages. But here, every page is combination of uh, component. And uh, because of that, we need uh, routers for every component. Uh, let's go to see our uh, routers in index, uh, index.js, uh, index.js. Here it is our uh, routers. Of course, we must import all uh, components. Uh, uh, at first, app.js, because uh, always on the app component in a second level, app.js is a basic level, it is a root level in uh, components trees. But always on app.js we have a blog post menu left. Blog post menu left, and here it is. Here it is on app.js. And the right side of our page, here it is React Element Outlet. What coming with the uh, router uh, router six, and uh, right side of our page, uh, it is a blog post singular post or blog post sub menu will be will be displayed uh, inside this this element. This element is right side of page. And this is left side of page. This stay always, but in outlet uh, coming uh, blog posters post blog post dot js component or blog posters menu dot js component depend of link what we click outlet outlet. A router 6 look at outlet coming with uh, uh, react router uh, dom version 6 and uh, and up okay if we had uh, if i create a header component react component and footer react component they also fixed stay here on the app because they always there they always they in any display in any page okay back to index.js and uh, because of that we don't see here blog posters menu left there is no import of blog posters menu left there is no here 
in uh, the we don't need root because we don't need import but other two components here we need we must create a root for them and uh, this is uh, uh, this is uh, component uh, this is root uh, root uh, 6 for uh, uh, our uh, uh, for for my decision how would be a look and how would be displayed uh, first of all uh, look at uh, it is all browser router and uh, routers it is import from uh, import from uh, react router dom here it is browse routers uh, routers and root what we need that browse router routers and now inside the routers we have uh, a root take care this first root is uh, up it is calling up up uh, react element it is root component up a path is uh, this uh, slash it is uh, domain address and uh, there is a not a self content sign slash no it is open react uh, element root open root closed root is uh, all this is inside and closed root is uh, this one uh, all other inside root is self closed here is a one and here is a second self-closed look at self-closed they are inside of uh, up up uh, element root element they are inside first root what we see here there is a index uh, there is an index uh, element inside and uh, after that element equal block post menu what means that will be show that will be display on the screen first block post menu index named index because it is home page what we code in here in uh, uh, this root uh, what we coding uh, below index word keyword element and what we coding here what we locate here it would be seen uh, at first moment when we so when we see our web application and uh, where would be show all from here now would be would be display in outlet in outlet index would be displayed in outlet it means that blog posts menu will be displayed in outlet here it is app.js here is outlet here in this outlet would be displayed blog posters menu blog posters menu at first at first because i write it in in index it was one root inside of up root it is here it is uh, first what we look here it is, uh, uh, we look, uh, uh, what we look first, uh, home, home it is, or left is uh, blog posters menu dot js, right is blog posters menu.js 
and uh, that right is inside Outlook, inside Outlook, Outlet. And uh, when I click in uh, title, in link, right side is a single post. We call that blog post, post singular, dot .js component. In outlet, displayed in outlet. Uh, get back in index.js. What is second? Second root is, uh, look at path equal column ID. Because uh, this root, uh, root index root, it is a child of this app root. Because it is inside of app root. Inside open root of app and closed root of app. It is a child and the child go to outlet. Always child go to outlet. And the second root is also child. Here it is. Is also child. And uh, is very interesting part. Part is column ID. There is nothing in front of that. There is no slash, only column ID. Because it is a child, it is. Uh, it means that it will be after slash after this. After this. Can we look at? Uh, look at in this uh, address. Uh, uh, now is a slash two, slash three, slash four, slash one. Here it is. After slash, we have number. Uh, here it is. And we closed uh, root, closed root of app component and the plural closed rooters and closed browser router and we have uh, react strict mode and document get element by id root uh, why we need uh, here uh, uh, in import uh, blog posts from blog post data uh, blog post is uh, name of object inside it is it is data because import that because uh, uh, we get data in a component by uh, properties this is react uh, this is a react element and uh, it is like html element uh, and uh, this is a React element, but we know that is it is a React component also. And here, uh, React element, there is uh, properties blog posters uh, uh, equal in curly brackets blog posters. Uh, that blog post in curly brackets is object blog post. It is concretely data it is object block post with all four post concretely and uh, now we can look uh, in component block post menu that we follow that data would go in uh, we have a fix uh, file with the uh, uh, json form in json format uh, coding data and it is a fix, uh, not changeable date in that file. And uh, that file import in a root component, app. And the uh, child of a root component app is blog post menu. And always from parents app, and always data flow from parents to child. And uh, up, parents up, have import 
have import uh, this blog post uh, have import uh, pardon here it is blog post have import data object blog post and uh, that data can go can go down and here it is properties of blog post menu child equal data equal object blog post curly brackets means it is concretely value what coming from parents also here uh, second uh, uh, our second component blog post it is singular post also we have uh, properties we create properties equal in curly brackets blog post uh, so same data same data uh, because uh, that blog post in component when we look at in component must find post what have this id what we click okay let's go blog post menu blog post sub menu left blog post sub menu here it is here it is uh, look at function blog post sub menu okay. look at in curly brackets our function there is a parameter there is an argument it is data blog post sub concretely data and it is all our data it is um, array of uh, four post return in fractal uh, inside fractal we have a map every array there is a map function there is a map method and uh, here is a, a parameter of that map is always arrow function that arrow function we create uh, have here have post because block post is, uh, is concretely for for array of four post and the map and uh, here in parameter uh, of arrow function in parameter uh, means that uh, here coming uh, members by members every members coming as parameter go in arrow function by parameter and uh, would be design or process uh, what we write here in body of arrow function and every post go inside div every post inside one div here it is every div because it would be list it would be array again array would be list we must have key and uh, the best key is uh, post dot id unique num unique identification it is the best key and our every post there is a id properties and it is unique identification it would be key and all other h1 html around the link around the link uh, blog post menu it is uh, where we see all our uh, post around it is h1 and we have link we have link every heading would be link and uh, it is title here is the image it is post dot image and the post dot blog post only substring method is only 115 character places and uh, close div here it would be for every post and we will have uh, uh, four post all four post it is uh, here uh, our blog post menu uh, blog post and blog post menu now in index.js uh, we have uh, blog post singular and uh, this properties blog post we call react element but also it is object object and object there is a properties HTML 
there is no properties because HTML is uh, is uh, HTML element and the HTML element begin with the small cases and there is LM uh, LM uh, there is uh, attribute attribute and uh, react element because they are object they have uh, properties we short call it props uh, blog post let's uh, going to look at uh, blog post uh, blog post here is the blog post here uh, what blog post look at coming blog post uh, here there is uh, no import uh, data because it's coming from index blog post uh, coming here uh, we uh, create uh, this use uh, params we need it uh, it is uh, now news in root 6 it, there is no in uh, router uh, 5 in router 5 we have match but here we use params it is hook it is function uh, and uh, we create uh, params object equal use params hook uh, create uh, constant ID declare 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 params declare ID declare uh, ID equal params object dot ID here is a number from address parameter and now our object ID there is a number of uh, there is a number of post it is ID of post and uh, here we must find blog post it is blog posters uh, are, uh, array dot find method find method find always result of method find is always object result of map is always array result of find method find is always object not array object it means only one post would be only one post and uh, in in form of object only inside curly bracket and uh, find that there is uh, like method there is arrow function uh, arrow function there is a parameter here is uh, every member of uh, member by member from blog post array and in body of the array function we processing what we this code is uh, processing every post and it processing would be conditions uh, uh, post dot id equal id and uh, when that conditions satisfied find stopped that moment don't go advance stopped and it would be result object what uh, first first member what satisfied that conditions would be our post here call i blog post and uh, in return we have uh, a blog post heading we have image and we have a blog post dot blog post it is content and uh, we must have map uh, for paragraph paragraph a uh, key can be like this because paragraph there is uh, no unique identification and we have uh, but we must have always in a map in list we must have uh, uh, we must have key and here first is paragraph second key and that key would be product of uh, of product of uh, uh, router 6 uh, no product product of react and uh, it is uh, parameter of arrow function in body we have uh, every paragraph uh, would be uh, one uh, one members of list and because of that key go to paragraph and uh, we have uh, what you said that uh, HTML element have uh, have attribute this element paragraph HTML element 
attribute key equal in curly brackets key. It, it means that reducer will produce something unique for every uh, paragraph, some unique key. Uh, it better when we go ID unique from uh, our list, uh, but uh, now we must take this from React production. Uh, okay, it is paragraph. And uh, this is uh, paragraph open HTML. Inside would be paragraph and closed closed uh, HTML element paragraph. It is our uh, blog uh, post. It means that uh, uh, that two uh, that two blog post menu and blog post uh, blog post menu and uh, blog post uh, would be. Uh, would would be would would have uh, uh, would have data from index up, index.js up, and uh, app.js. Uh, uh, our blog post menu left always is here. We must uh, create properties blog post equal here in and. Uh, we must have import. Now, when we look at, we have import of data here in one component, blog post menu left, and we have import of data in index.js. In, uh, in the future, or I, I was speaking a lot of about Redux. Redux, it is a pattern, it is design that we have uh, uh, container for our data uh, up above all other component and uh, all all data coming from that uh, from that uh, container uh, from store redux store uh, here it is a block post menu left here it is properties let's go to see what happened with that data in component here it is what happened what happened again map here it is coming value all list all array and uh, map again arrow function post is parameter and the body of arrow function we create uh, inside HTML element uh, li list we create list and uh, here it is uh, uh, HTML tag and close tag is round around this uh, uh, li elements list HTML elements in list uh, we will have uh, again must be key it is post ID and uh, we have links only links of uh, heading and heading is uh, post heading is uh, a link and uh, a link is a slash uh, a post num number post post dot id it will be numbers it will be id of our post Uh, something uh, else here. In uh, every in every application in in every programs, uh, all what we see on the screen must be called. Uh, for example, uh, application every application must be started. Uh, we start concretely this application must be start and after start uh, element calling element function calling function uh, cannot uh, function work without uh, uh, some uh, who call uh, that function and because our component is a function component 
look at how that calling go through Redux, uh, through React application. First, we, I talk about that uh, uh, in public. In public, we have index item. When we, when we call address of our publication, it would be start of uh, JavaScript uh, of React application, start that uh, index.html and HTML and complete uh, application with all what they need for work, go to client. It was a starting point uh, that address and our enter or our click on some link or what call uh, that application. And the index.html react on that uh, calling, calling of address, web address, by, by web address. And uh, that index.html in first uh, version of react, we will see in index.html, we will see calling of index.js. Now we don't see that because we don't need to see that. I tell you that index.html in background calling index.js, index.js, calling this. Explicit calling in background, in background calling index.js. And uh, index.js uh, uh, rendered and uh, index.js, look at calling now, calling up root component, because uh, here it is, it is important, up, root up. Uh, it is uh, a call that, uh, calling for, for function. Uh, function component, when we see that in in uh, React element, it is a form of React element. And when we see React element, it is calling for React element. It is calling for up, up uh, function, function component. And uh, when up, because it is a root uh, root function, uh, all other trees of, of uh, uh, that app calling child blog post menu. Calling means uh, uh, for rendering that uh, app uh, would be rendered and uh, calling child blog post menu, that component would be rendered uh, ren render it means uh, uh, read to be when render it finished it means to be ready for uh, for display on the screen and uh, to be ready for work for engaged and uh, uh, root component call all others some call directly all that child would be called their child. Here we have only child blog post menu and blog post menu there is no child. Also blog post uh, there is no child but up, up calling this blog post menu and calling this blog post. Also uh, up rendered there is a component on app, there is a child component always there in app.js, app.js, here it is. It is child of app. It would be calling after, uh, first calling app, after that app calling child blog post menu and other child, and they would be rendered and uh, after render it, it, it finished process and they can be displayed by uh, Rootes organization, it would be displayed on the screen. 
uh, for this video it's all uh, if you know somebody that needs video like this tell them share about in your networks uh, comment like if you like it subscribe if you need it engaged one word for that all is engaged when you engaged this video would be better for all uh, take uh, some other information not only what we see in this video for me and for you bigger community around this video means a bigger uh, bigger knowledge around this video bigger knowledge for me and for you and uh, Okay, I am optimistic and uh, when uh, I don't see comment and uh, only like and not like, I, 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 uh, I am optimistic and think that uh, you, like, uh, you like this video. Uh, thank you for watching, for watching this video.